Welcome to this site orientation for Saddle Mountain in eastern Washington. Just north of Mattawa, it's one of the most beautiful north-facing ridge soaring sites in the western hemisphere. Runs nearly 10 miles from east to west. It has an approximately 1800 foot vertical forward face at launch. You see here how it sets up nicely in Google Earth. The purpose of this orientation is safety. Uh, it is an USPA insured site and we uh, uh, ask that everybody who flies there be an USPA member. Uh, here we see the primary launch. Launches a nice slope. It uh, sets up well to the north. Come in a little closer and take a look at it. As it shapes it rolls off. It works for both hang gliders and paragliders uh, equally well. Generally the takeoff is slightly to the east. First feature I'd like to point out is a bowl which is immediately to the west of launch. This bowl works very well for lift in light conditions, uh, especially at the far west edge of the bowl. Uh, you can stay up there when the winds are such that nowhere else on the mountain would you be able to stay up. This is a good feature. However, when the winds are strong out of the northwest, a rotor sets up behind the bowl. This rotor can be quite severe. On strong northwest days, it's almost impossible to safely land. One good thing about saddle is days tend to turn around towards the east, so if you stay up long enough, you'll be okay. However, if you are going to attempt to land in northwest winds, the green arrow indicates probably the safest location for landings. You see here in this picture both the primary, the circle, and then the extended rotor zones. In that circle area near where we park the cars is a very, very bad place to be on a west day. The reason I'm making this video is because of two events that took place on Saturday. The first one was with a pilot who came in in that primary west rotor zone. See here he took a near total deflation near the ground. He was very lucky and was able to land. This picture here, he's still maybe five feet in the air. Fortunately, he was uninjured. The second feature I'd like to talk about is the saddle, which actually creates most of the problem in terms of rotor. I've seen two or three events there, have heard about broken backs, and it's absolutely one of the most dangerous places on saddle. It's most dangerous on strong northeast days. What will happen is that as the day progresses, often winds will grow out of the east, get quite strong. And while you might be able to penetrate and land safely at noon or one o'clock, by two o'clock winds will set up very strong and a pilot coming in on this path might get pushed back. And certainly if you come in deep, and this is the biggest problem, if you come in deep right over the ridge, you'll get pushed back into the rotor zone and have serious problems, possible deflations and high speed impacts with the ground. The key to safety at saddle is to stay out in front. Launch when you know the conditions are within your capabilities and don't be surprised if the winds grow stronger and if they are stronger stay in front. Don't allow yourself to be pushed back. Don't allow yourself to be caught in the vortices associated with the saddle and certainly don't fly in the rotor zone associated with the West Bowl. Good luck and happy flying.